It was game, set and match, team. He defeats Varias, the qualifier, in straight sets. It was a match teeming with greatness. Uh, so let's get into the reasons which led team to the victory. My name's Henry Tui. Welcome to Postmatch Breakdowns and subscribe if you love tennis. Uh, all my puns. Um, so let's just start off with um, team's aggression. From the word go, team really wanted to dictate play um, just as much as possible. On his forehanded backhand, he was hitting incredible winners uh, throughout the whole match. Um, but even when they weren't out and out winners, the amount of damage he was producing was just incredible. The improvements he's made over the just last week or two are, are really stunning. Um, his pace and depth uh, was particularly impressive. Um, it was just too much for Varias to handle, especially with his super high topspin strokes. Uh, they really bit into the clay, jumping up and just forced Varias into very difficult positions. Um, so what did Varias do to try and stop being hit off the court? So let's get into the tactics. Gustard is a very high altitude court where they were playing and uh, it just means the ball bounces very high and travels very fast through the air and uh, Varias' game plan seemed to be break down the team's one-handed backhand by looping it high into that wing and uh, then punishing him with his forehand. Um, but it just didn't work so well because team was just rock solid on his backhand even at those high difficult to handle positions. Um, but even though it's not the ideal strike zone for power, um, he just managed to keep himself in the rally. And uh, using his superior shot tolerance and, and staying patient, he really waited for the right ball to attack, uh, either on his forehand or backhand. Uh, it was mainly on his forehand, I think, that he dictated play, uh, which is a nice change because it's been improving so much. Um, and this is what really led him to dominating the rallies. Uh, and if Rias wanted to win, he would have needed to have shortened the points and play really first strike aggressive tennis. Um, but against such an experienced player as team who reads, who reads the game so well and moves so well, it's very difficult to hit through him. Uh, made even harder on a clay court, which is obviously the slowest surface. Um, but I thought Varias did quite well actually to, to adapt and uh, just try a different thing, going for the drop shot with not much success, but kept team on his toes. Um, and he also threw in some net approaches and was trying to finish the points with volleys at the net. Um, this also had mixed success because uh, Team got his eye in with the passing shots and uh, Team is able to keep the ball very low and very fast, which makes it difficult for the volleyer. Um, but credit to Varias for, for trying different things, for not being one note. But now let's go on to the serve return dynamic. Uh, to put it simply, Team dominated the, the serve return dynamic. Uh, he served faster, more accurately and more consistently than Varias. Uh, he predominantly uses world-class kick serve um, which is most effective on a high bouncing clay court like in Gastard. And uh, he just made much, much deeper runs into Varias' service games, creating more breakpoint opportunities and putting a lot more pressure on his serve. Um, but I'm going to give Varias credit. What he did very well is being very aggressive off team's second serve, uh, just trying to get immediately on the front foot uh, and do damage. Uh, and at the end of the first set, it had worked. Uh, as team had only won 25% of points behind his second serve, uh, which is awful. And that was a real danger. And, um, but it was really tempered by team finding clutch first serve and aces in high pressure moments, uh, which kind of dispelled those, uh, those runs by Varias. Team had a couple of blips while serving in this match. Uh, while serving for the first set at 5-2, he made three unforced errors and then Varias hit a beautiful return winner as a uh, team approached the net. Um, it was quite loose. Um, from team, but an outlier really in, in the big picture um, because he served for the first set again at 5-4 this time uh, and found some clutch first serves, uh, which not only saved the break point, but really took him over the line in that very, very close game. Uh, and heading into the second set, he broke immediately and uh, really carried his momentum and started to find his rhythm on serve. Um, and team kept up his pressure on Varias' serve, getting to juice in most games and putting, putting a toll uh, on his opponent. Um, but again, in the second set, Team had another blip. He led 5-2 again, he did in both sets, uh, and was broken serving for the match again. Um, so it was quite clutch from Vrias, really, never going away and always fighting. Um, but Team broke back to, to seal the victory uh, 6-3 in the second. Uh, but credit to Vrias for a great tournament. Uh, he came through two rounds of qualifying, and then beat Lorenzo Sanego in his first round match, which was his highest ranked opponent that he'd beaten ever uh, at the time. But he immediately followed it up by beating Roberto Batista Agut in straight sets. 
uh, which is now his biggest victory of his career. And it was just really impressive stuff. And uh, I hope he can consistently break out of the Challenger Tour because uh, he really is a great competitor and is playing fantastically right now. And now on to team. He faces the winner of Berrettini versus Martinez later today. And uh, with how well Berrettini is playing right now, I think it's very likely that it, he will win. Uh, the high altitude conditions, uh, as I've already mentioned, are perfect for his serve uh, because the courts are so quick and high bouncing. His kick serve is so effective and his flat serve. Um, with a player like Berrettini, his serve is the kind of pillar of his game. Uh, so he is playing incredibly in these kind of conditions. Um, and as of this video, he is 10 and 0 since coming back from his injury, uh, which is an incredible number. Uh, and his form is stunning right now. Uh, therefore, I think it's likely he will win and face team. And this will easily be team's biggest challenge. Uh, for me, his weakest shot is his return of serve. And against a player like Berrettini, whose serve isn't just world class, it, it's on a galactic level. Uh, he, I think he will struggle uh, in these conditions. And my personal gut feeling is Berrettini in two. Uh, but let me know what you thought of today's match and your prediction for this potential next round. Uh, but I've been Henry Tui, thanks for watching and subscribe for more.